either. But not Carl Pilkington. No, Carl, no. He's no. gone back to Manchester, isn't it? It's, <laughs> better, it's better than London. Yeah. You don't know it. You don't know it. Manchester's better than London. Instead, Claire Sturgis. Claire Sturgis yeah. ran a pool for Claire, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah thanks. Yeah. 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 She's coming there in sort of the camouflage gear, I know. Is that quite trendy? Is that what the kids yeah, are wearing? Yeah, you know, it's funny. <laughs> Someone actually mentioned that this morning. Or are you on morning. manoeuvres? Yeah. I am exactly. actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, taking time out yeah. this morning from what I normally do. Sure. I missed the, uh, second half talking like that of Celebrity, um, Boot Camp. I Coolio, don't know what that is. is. it? The fella from, um, Millie Vanilli. What, the one that's not dead? Eh? Uh, no, the what? one that killed himself, sure. Steve. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. No, I just want to clarify for people. A lot of people don't realise that one of them is dead. Right. <laughs> I thought it was important to mention it. Actually, yeah, I didn't know. I'll be honest with you, I, I hadn't thought it through. No. It was a piece of interesting Milli Vanilli <laughs> trivia that I had, and I wanted to slip it in. <laughs> but it wasn't I really I trivia, because it could... was a question. You went, what? Like, the one Rick, who's not what dead. What I'm saying, is I could have found a more tactful way of bringing up the death of one of Milli Vanilli, because I think there's a lot of people out there now upset, maybe Claire Actually, yeah, didn't realize. people who didn't know. That's quite a shock. I didn't see- I mean, I should have sat people down. Who, did, who, who died? Vanilli or Milli? I think it was- I think it was Millie. No, oh, it's right, okay. Millie. Well, is, I don't know, uh, No, but which I one. didn't know. I'm oh, that is. Actually, I'm guessing. What, what no, I'm not that? confusing Millie Vanilli and Scritty Pilitti, Because, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is a danger. <laughs> oh, no, you're, you're thinking of, uh, the fellow out of Grandpa Palumpo. <laughs> <laughs> he was amazing. He was amazing. It's a great shame that he, yeah, uh, he talked to himself. Yeah, they're not around us. <laughs> anyway, um, cool, we've got some great tunes lined up. We're gonna play today, um, the- our favourite singles it's, of Well, the it's favourite tunes, some of which tune, didn't yeah. quite make it as singles, maybe, but tunes of the year, cause obviously Christmas very soon and, uh, we'll be away for a short time. And I think ne next week we'll be doing our favourite Christmas songs of all time. Yeah, I'm worried we're not gonna fill two hours with that. <laughs> I mean, how many times can you play Shaking Stephens before, <laughs> uh, Fairies out of New York. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's the only again. one, isn't it, really? It, that's the best one. That's the best Christmas that one's song good, ever. But Obviously, there's uh, Jenny Mitchell's "The River." That starts with a kind of Christmassy beautiful, feel. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, I don't think if there's anything else. Not great deal. Um, the waitress so is Christmas wrapping. Is that one? Is that brilliant? Mine. Is that yeah, good? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So this is Christmas. John Lennon. Paul mm. McCartney came out with simply having a wonderful <laughs> Christmas time. <laughs> Christmas time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. So John's was "Happy Christmas War" is over. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, of course it wasn't, but, uh, hey, but I mean, at least he, wa he wanted no, to be. No, he, he was dreaming of it, he was dreaming of it. Yeah. That's, um, I mean, and, bless him. and to show <laughs> how much <laughs> I don't, he John Lennon's more. dead as well, I don't know if anyone's- Yeah, no, they do oh, yeah, that's that. just another bit of rock and roll I like, I like John's, John's protest against war, he stayed in bed for a week. <laughs> yeah. I've been doing I've that, done, I've yeah. been protesting <laughs> against war for, like, uh, ages. Yeah, yeah. I'm eating hamburgers yeah, against war. Absolutely. I went, I just got, um, um, into Burger King on the way here, I went into the, I went into the counter, but of course, that's not, I mean, not product placement there, and there's a lo number of other burger joints that people may wish to go to if I they choose. Yeah, I'll exactly. yes. Um, but I went into Burger King, cause it's, uh, it's close. It's and convenient. I went in there. It's convenient, but then often McDonald's will be convenient. I mean, convenient, McDonald's is just <laughs> convenient, depends, yeah, depends just, where you are. Just as convenient, depending yeah. where you are. Um, and I said, uh, well, I said, um, could I have, uh, a cheeseburger and small fries? Take away, please. And he recognised me, he went, oh, I've seen you on TV enough, won't yeah. He went, uh, there's your milk, so I went, thanks. He went, he winked and went, I put large fries in. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> so that's so, but I love it's so it's paying off at last. True genius is being rewarded but by I just the burger to know joints. Because I mean, there's been a couple of times where I've been <sighs> with you, and you know, we've gone in a restaurant and someone's given you a free meal or whatever. And it's the way that it's like you don't ask for it; it's no. just kind of offered. But I don't know what they're expecting in return. Nothing. I mean, do Nothing. they think that you'll go away and you'll always think fondly of your no, chat? No, I, I think, that, I, think they just, I just think they think. Oh, I don't know. They make. I'm like going to give him a little treat. Uh, yeah. I know, I, I don't like it, but then I'm, I'm always grateful and I never... Yeah. But the thing is, I'll, yeah, I'm, I, I'm slightly embarrassed. Did anyone around you hear what had happened? No. Because I imagine the resentment, just the whole room no, turning on didn't. you. No, they didn't. I had to go around telling them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, had, I went, I said, excuse me, I, did you hear that? He went, no, I didn't. <laughs> he just gave me the free <laughs> thing because I'm on the telly. And I went, yeah. I don't recognise. I went, you don't recognise me? I'm terrified now that, uh, <laughs> that someone could be listening at Burger King HQ. You know, and I'm assuming this is an unorthodox procedure. Oh, you and know, that little fella's got fired. But we know, he, they know it's Leicester Square now because I just mentioned it. So they know which <laughs> Burger King it is. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know. What was his uh, name? Ralph Littleton. He had a, he <laughs> yeah. had a name badge. <laughs> yeah. Number 342. Well, I just hope Littleton doesn't get in trouble. So, uh, what are we gonna play That could first? be a sad Christmas for him. <laughs> He's probably <laughs> keeping his whole family afloat. <laughs> um, but it's Springsteen. Well, tunes of the year. I mean, I know people dismiss, dismiss uh, Springsteen, but, uh, as I say, the g gig I went to see earlier in the year, I made Sturgis it. Sturgis couldn't believe we were gonna play Springsteen. Brilliant. I just think, you know, leave aside what you think is cool and trendy and the fact that he's older really? now or whatever else. Really? Just leave all that behind yeah. and just listen to the tunes because, you know, he remains a great musician. Isn't Lonesome it? Day. Lonesome Day is the current single and uh, the first track on the, the album. And free, uh, free chips. <laughs> Absolutely.
That's brilliant. The boss. Do we care if it's trendy? I don't we're, care. We're like Huey Lewis. It's hip to be square, <laughs> it's, Steve. That's, it's true. We should play some Huey. Oh, we can't. Can no. we? No. Oh, come on, the power no. of love. No. Oh. It's a curious thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it makes, it makes one, one man me. No, it's never man sing. I don't know what's going on there. It's strange. Oh. Flippy yeah. neck. Yeah. For Springsteen there. Yeah, no, he's, he's obviously he's playing again, uh, next year sometime. I and, bet uh, even trendy people thought, well, yeah, it's all right, But, yeah. I mean, yeah, I tell I you- I bet they wanted to rock- I bet they wanted to drive along a freeway. Well, I think you've gotta be hard pushed to turn over the channel if you're driving and that's playing. Who wouldn't want to be driving a car while that's playing, you yeah. know? Down an open freeway. We are sound- I know there's a little bit of irony in it, but we are sounding like Dr. Fox. <gasps> Did you see- <laughs> Did you see the final of, um, Fame Academy? No, I don't watch Fame Academy. I don't, I'm Foxy got in there. He's in the audience. Really? No. Yeah, I didn't not, not enough being on Pop Idol. He's in there. Like, I don't remember. And do you know who was sitting next to him next in to Foxy. disguise? I, uh, in disguise. In disguise, he had a little a little beard and a woolly hat on, looked like bad drawn boy, Mackenzie Crook. Really? And we had to uh, we no. taped it. Yeah, yeah. And I went, it is. And we taped it, and he was there. So he's back from America. Was it he, obviously a fal false beard? No, no, I think he's- Is he befriended Foxy? <laughs> I don't know. Are they hanging out together We're gonna now? We're gonna see him tonight. Hulk. We're gonna what see him tonight. What was he doing in the States then? What was he doing? He's well, doing well, a film, yeah, so right. he's, yeah. In fact, he probably is wearing a bit. He plays- we can't say too much about it, but he's playing a pirate, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we'd make a good pirate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So far he's been cast as a pirate and a ghost. <laughs> which seems to make sense. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. So, uh, yeah. that's me. I'll be- I'll be pumping in for information about Foxy, cause, you know, I'm a big fan of Foxy, as you know. I know. <laughs> Both a DJ and a medical man. I- I like that. I like the way that you got pumping and Foxy in the same <laughs> sentence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> I'd love to- <laughs> Calm <laughs> down. <laughs> Did you just say you're gonna see him tonight? Is it Comedy Wars tonight? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's, it's the big so do, yeah. Yeah. You're going, obviously. Yeah, yeah. 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 What are you wearing? Yeah. What are you wearing? <laughs> what are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, very boring, I'm afraid. What? Um, very traditional tuxedos. Tuxedos. Aren't we? We've, uh, <sighs> we went shopping together and bought them. It's quite sad. I don't know. I should have said that. Uh, not <laughs> a certain degree of rock and roll. Cool. It was funny because I went straight in. I went uh, forty-two chest, thirty-six, thirty <laughs> leg. I mean, that's fine, right? Steve. I had to, then I had to stay there looking at Steve trying about nine jackets so the arms weren't too short. Yeah. I, I, I suggest at one point go down to London Zoo and see what the gibbons <laughs> wear because it's uh, every, yeah. every single <laughs> Those jack jackets you see them wear when there's an organ grinder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, who's making those? <laughs> ah, I want one of those. Yeah. Six foot nine. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Um, Have you got the cummerbunds and things? You've got. Well, the uh, well, this is the thing. My, my, my father phoned up. You know, my, I have conversations with my parents, which are always they'll phone up and it'd be like, "All right, how's it going? Yeah. <laughs> what are you having for tea? <laughs> what are you having tea? <laughs> probably be having a lovely. Uh, I'll probably have a spaghetti bolognese tonight, Dad. <laughs> oh yeah. What have you had, Dad? Oh, your mother just made a lovely lasagna, Steve. <laughs> 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 I mean, he literally, that's the conversation. It's like, yeah, every, I think every uh, parent is just, they're just uh, interested in food. Food that you've eaten, food you're planning to eat, uh, food you've enjoyed in the past, because they just want to know you're eating. That is genius. And then, uh, have you got, uh, got enough vitamin C? Got enough vitamin C tablets? Because I can always send you some. I can buy them myself, Dad. I'll send you some. It's not a problem. No. Dad, I don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I, I say, he says, what have you done? You know, and I'm trying to think, I think to myself, he'll be impressed if I've bought a tuxedo. I say, uh, <laughs> I bought a tuxedo. Will he, will he like that? Yeah. <coughs> he that. said, uh, he said, you bought a tuxedo. Why didn't you rent it? I said, well, it was quite cheap. He went out cheap. Uh, told him the price. He went, no, oh, it's not bad, not bad. <laughs> Elaine! He just bought a tuxedo! He just bought a tuxedo, Elaine! Yeah? He said, uh, have you, uh, you got a cummerbund? <laughs> I said, a cummerbund. I said, do I need a cummerbund? He said, well, you're gonna be dancing? <laughs> Like he knows the Like rules. he knows, like he's some kind of like- I don't think the man's ever worn a suit, let alone a tuxedo. What does he <laughs> know about- I love your dad. Gonna be dancing? I just had the idea of him being at some kind of do and right you lane, jacket's off, cummerbund's <laughs> on, time on. for a dance. You know a cummerbund? Do you w- you wear it over your braces then? Cause you- cause those things are- because you're not wearing a belt I assume. You no, you wear braces. it under the braces I think. No, no you don't. Do you? I you don't know. You wear it over it, don't you? Over the it, belt, but braces is a different thing. There's no belt. Well, no, if you, no, tuxedo, no, it, you're right. No, you're right. It is over the braces. Sorry, how many people tuned to XFM are <laughs> worrying about the etiquette <laughs> no, of no, cover buttons? This is important <laughs> I don't, because I don't. the comedy wars, which is going on, it's live tonight. Yeah, no, it? yeah. Well, that's, that's but I'll tell you this, Rick. I tried on the tuxedo I bought yesterday. I got yeah. a new shirt as well. I look like James Bond. I'm not going to lie to you. No, I do I look like James wait. Bond. I look, I look exactly like him. It's uncanny. It is uncanny. Really? Because yeah. the bloke in there said you look like a lanky streak of piss and I looked good. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, he did, he did, he did. Because he as did, you were walking out the shop, he, did, he, he did, called he me back in and said, you know no, that- I know, that was the telling. show, that was the no. show. Because when, the very last time when you he were definitely- He said you looked like odd job. He said you looked like odd job. No, he said- He said you looked like Blofeld. He said you looked like- you were definitely on the tube, he said- He said you looked like job. He said you looked like streak of piss with a stupid gingery blonde hair and He said you looked like a combination of Blofeld and odd job. You look like blow job. He said blow job. He said blow job. We should Ashc
that, that, that's in the top five for me, the singles of the year mm -hmm. so far. Mm -hmm. Um, well, yeah, we're talking about, um, what are we talking about? Comedy Awards, your dad, Cummerbund. <laughs> My father's come abundant. I'm sure it is antics. over the braces. I think. Yeah. Well, if yeah. anyone knows that, if anyone knows the uh, the kind of uh, rules. So, uh, are you actually wearing one? Rules? Are you actually wearing? I come abundant. Well, I asked. No. But he said no. He said don't bother. No, don't but then bother. I'm thinking, what if I dance? What? what if I do some grooving later? You shouldn't. Why not? Well, I've seen you dance. Don't before. give me that. No, no. Don't give me that. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. It's not that you're not that a dancer. That dance you do in the office. That's your best dancer. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that you're not a bad dancer. It's that that. You, I've seen you hit people in the face with your elbow. Because so there's always going to be casualties. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> Rick, 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 if someone's I busting a good move, I have, it's I've murder on the dance floor. I've danced with, I've danced with Steve. Have you? At, an old, at one of uh, indie discos at Uli. There you are. You've never forgotten. And uh, he's good. He's I right. am pretty good, aren't I? Yeah. He is actually. I tell you, the only right. problem is because you I'm were so in tall. The bar, but because I'm right. so tall, I do tend to tower like two foot above everyone else, and that does make me look slightly freakish. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to use that word, but I can see where you're coming from. Yeah. So I do feel slightly self-conscious. Why so don't I... you hold them? Why don't you carry them? When you're dancing with them, so they're well. No, the, but the thing is, because like, you could dance with, with Jeanette Cranky and still not look <laughs> sure. too weird. Sure, but that the thing wouldn't is, be weird, would it? You holding Jeanette Cranky and dancing with her would that be weird? I think we've all had that fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what I tend to do is because I'm conscious that everyone is kind of can see me and that I'm sort of you know I'm quite visible on the dance floor. What I'll tend to do is maybe dance on any kind of podium that they <laughs> might have in some of the bigger dance sure. clubs or you know any kind of stage. I'll just get out there, bust some moves. Yeah. Because then it's like you know I may as well put myself on public display. Yeah. Rather than just people think. Because then you're know, going, look, I know what I look like. Yeah, I'm I know how great it. I look. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. No, you, no, 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 no. Because it's, you know, what your, that's your opinion if you don't think it. But that's, again, a lot of jealousy. I mean, a lot of what you the, say he, is jealousy. He went for the normal shirt. I went for the, uh, the wing collar. I just thought, I might as well. I do like a wing collar, actually, yeah. yeah. What about that. a proper mm. bow tie? I bought, 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 I, I bought it all, I went a bit berserk. I even bought, um, uh, Union Jack Cufflinks because it's the British Comedy Awards. Mm. Nice. You know yeah. what I mean? Who's so, hosting well, more money than sense. It's pretty <laughs> <to mind. laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you've got, you're earning so much cash now that you don't know what to do with it, aren't you? Really? I mean, you <laughs> no, I mean, I don't Union know how, what it Cufflinks. is you're spending on, but yeah. yeah. Uh, I said, how much? I went, I said, not expensive enough. <laughs> exactly. I said, I'm going to give you an extra tenner. <laughs> um, <laughs> I got to get rid of it. talking about, um, uh, when his dad, uh, said that, and then you told me so much that it, I find it my amazing. Oh, you, uh, well, your the thing is, yeah, it's Christmas, obviously, I've got to go back to, to Bristol. I love seeing my family. Um, well, yeah, I do. Uh, but it means I see my grandparents, who are, you know, brilliant people. I mean, lovely people, but mental. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> utterly mental. And, um, they've taken now to, there must be sort of 80 a piece. And it is quite an old age, but they're fairly good health, relatively speaking. And, um, they just spend their time in bed. I mean, that's all they do, is that that's their profession, that's their- they've retired to go to bed. And they spend all their time in bed. I'd tell you what they're like, they're like that old guy- they're like the, all that old family in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> yeah. Remember, I mean, none like, of them had got up yeah. for like twenty-five years. Yeah. And they- But you, to you said that they go to bed and they go to sleep, but then when they wake up, what they do is put an extra pillow, so they're slightly more upright, and that's yeah. them in the day that's in bed. That's, right, their, that's, so that's their active. daytime yeah. Yeah, thing. But they but, get um, cook and stuff. Well, what they, they? well they, yeah, what they do is they see they've got um, they've got about six teeth between them. Um, I mean, my grandmother wants false, needs false teeth, but refuses to go and have the old ones extracted and the false teeth fitted. So she's she's working with about three or four teeth. Oh. Um, my grandfather had false teeth given to him during the war. Wooden okay. ones. Well, it was it was plastic teeth on a wooden pallet, right? That sits at the top of the mouth. <laughs> He's still got the wooden pallet, <laughs> but most of the teeth have come off. <laughs> so there's about four teeth left. Four <laughs> false teeth. He's got fal He's got a set of false teeth that make him look like he needs false teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's pretty bizarre. Super. Oh. So the problem is that they have to get up. They get up about seven in the morning to put on, say, you know, some beef or lamb, whichever they're going to cook. <laughs> they put it on at six in the morning, seven in the morning, so that by the time they eat it, it's six at night. They can use the phrase, this is what a good meal is for my grandparents, if they can use the phrase, oh that's lovely, that's lovely, you could suck it away. <laughs> You could suck it away. Who wants that from a roast dinner? You may as well blend it up and serve it as a bowl. I don't want that phrase coming from old people without teeth. <laughs> no, indeed. Because <laughs> it, 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 it must away. remind you of your rent boy days. Exactly. <laughs> it brings it all flooding back. Oh, you know. God. Flooding's um, the word. <laughs> exactly. Should we play record before we get really discussing about your grandparents <laughs> and yeah, blowjobs? Please, that please. is the worst thing we've ever- We've, we've said ever... the word blowjob far too many times today. And with- in the same sentence as you- I can't believe- yeah. Anyway! And it's Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget what Christmas is about. <laughs> Come on, Fair a thought for the underprivileged people. Yeah. 
Steve, Steve, Steve. Is it Ben Queller? Do you want to I play love a bit of Ben Queller. I don't know. Are you a fan? I love him. Yeah, yeah. well, this is a cracking tune. Okay. And, uh, yeah. yeah. And uh, I think we'll enjoy that. Let's just Slam dunk it. It's why don't we just stop and think about what we've done? I'll tell you, they, spend, <laughs> they do spend so much time in, in bed that they actually, I'm sure, war will have to sing. Ben Queller, in that's other fantastic. words. That's fantastic. That ending is, oh, God. It's like Ben Fold, five bit of mm. old out, and that's mm. great. You had him in session, didn't you, Claire? Yeah, Did you fact, meet him, or did you? Because he's quite no, young, isn't he? He's very young. Um, he came in about six months ago to do something for John Kennedy, and, um, and I, also a session for me, and I've been repeat. I repeated it this week as the best of the year sessions because mm. it was. He did three songs, stunning stuff. It's just him and the piano, was it, or him and the guitar? It was just yeah, it was just yeah. him, yeah. Yeah, 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 him with a, a couple of instruments, mm. um, stunning. And also he did um, he did a Dingwalls gig for XFM listeners, and uh, the reaction from the listeners phoning up trying to get tickets was incredible. Really? It really has touched a nerve. Yeah. Well, like you say, Ricky, I mean, it's really. That's you great. Know, well, I've just seen, there's, we were talking, there's a kind of lack of music that sort of seems to be making use of instruments and sort of, and just the sound you can make with a piano and a guitar and drums, do you know what I mean? It's, it's like, it's so invigorating and you get kind of stuff like, you know, the streets and, and whatever else or, uh, you know, kind of hip hop and stuff and it, in that, uh, the fact that a lot of, uh, pleased to see Miss Dynamite on Top of the Pops last night using uh, a live band. Really kind of, it really made the whole one. sort of R&B like sound that, really that, that, exciting. better than the other one. Yeah. Um, anyway, that's us being muso. That's us being terribly muso, yeah. I like that's that. That's us being muso yeah. for that's the year. Yeah, that's enough of that. Well, we are playing our favourite records. Well, we're it's nice to be able to talk sensibly without Carl interrupting with some gibberish. You know? I, I mean, oh, bless him, Carl. bless him. I don't see no, it bless him. He's probably yeah. listening on Sky or Sky something. Yeah, 864, yeah. channel 864, mm. or around the world on xfm.co.uk. Get that in. Is that what you have to do? What do you do today? You just go into the website, do you? Go into the website, yeah, and uh, click on. I the never get things like that to work on my computer. Or you can go and check out the webcam, obviously, and um, see me and my camouflage gear. Yeah, well, you won't see oh, you, will you? Won't see me, no, <laughs> um, no. Now, so what do you do? Just go into the website and what does it say? Play live online. Yeah, and it just, listen and live. it's just like listening down the phone line. Yeah. I, think I sound like I've come from the 1950s, yeah, exactly. don't you, I? You've come from the 19th <laughs> century. <laughs> What's <Yeah>. this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very, uh, Oh, I was going to say something then, but I can't. Um, <laughs> no. Can we just very quickly, before we move on, though, because I'm, I'm getting very excited about the comedy awards. Now, I know what yeah, you're wearing. Right, so. And, um, you've got, got a table with all your mates there. Is Jonathan Ross doing it again? Yeah, he's that, very that's funny. why it's my favourite. And, um, I'm I, hate, I hate awards. I do, I honestly, hate them, but, um, yeah, this is actually an event because it's Jonathan yeah. Ross. It's just... Well, yeah. I, um, I was, because I was talking to someone about it, and I might mention it, uh, before, but uh, we did an award ceremony. We went to an award ceremony last year, <laughs> where um, it, everything was sponsored by corporate groups, you know, by oh, businesses yeah, yeah. or by you know different. It was a kind of it was a everything was sponsored, and I swear to God, the pudding <laughs> was sponsored by Electrolux. Yeah, <laughs> and I'd never eaten a pudding before sponsored by anyone, and they, no. it was you know it was a very odd affair. That I thought that was very strange because it seemed weird. as though corporate uh, people had paid for a table so that they. So when we came out, th someone kind of came on stage and said, "Well, we've got a lovely number, of, a wonderful collection of celebrities." Is here this evening. Oh, on God, yeah. That? And oh. it was, uh, please uh, be upstanding for <laughs> your chairman, Tom O'Connor. Yeah. We were made to give Tom O'Connor a standing, standing ovation. <laughs> we had to stand up weird. so we could give Tom O'Connor, former presenter of CrossFit, yeah. a standing ovation. We're talking about the cream of British uh, TV talent, <laughs> giving him a stand up. Not that he doesn't deserve it, I'm sure he's a great entertainer. But so I think uh, Sir Cliff was there, wasn't he? See the back of the stage this week. I don't want to talk about it, it's too embarrassing. Why? Tom O'Connor's on there, Is thanking, he? thanking Mal Young, the BBC, for giving him a part in Doctors. Yeah. I love that. He had to take out the whole, a whole oh, page. So sweet. He obviously spent the fee being paid for the show. <laughs> just, he's just so pleased to be back on TV. He said, what, an advert? He said yeah. A whole page and thanking the BBC for having him back on TV. <laughs> <laughs> but, but we're laughing, <laughs> but it's gonna happen to you <laughs> in about <laughs> yeah. a year's time. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Anyway, oh, I just dear. want to know, bad behaviour. Who do you think's gonna behave badly this year? Because I don't think we, anyone. We've had, you know, well, we've had, we had, we had the, 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 um... Barrymore and Clary and... Clary, the fisting and... Barrymore yeah. throwing his monitor. That was, was funny. It? The Heron, um, what was she doing? She's yeah, there's, not any of the kind of, there's not really any sort of, uh, there's not really any kind of wayward people at the moment, is there, in showbiz, mm. uh, in terms of entertainment comedy? There's no one who sort of seems but to have a drink what, or drug Steve, problem. I'm, I'm worried sadly. about Ricky. Sadly. I'm, I'm worried that, you know, something well, might take hold. The no, devil may No, no I think he's very be. careful. He's, is he? he's a bit careful, yeah. yeah, yeah he's so, <laughs> I mean, too tired. Yeah, too tired. Shout and scream. You have been kind of coughing and wheezing throughout today's well, show. I, I, I had a fight, didn't I? Oh, we should talk about the fight. Yeah, we, we can't, can't give out the result. <laughs> we can't give the result out on the fight, but- No, uh, no I've, got a, I've got a cough. I've just got a cough again. Got a bit of a cough. I'm scared I'm allergic to something. 
What if I'm allergic to- I was worried today that- What if you're allergic to wheat? Oh no, well that'd be terrible. <laughs> but I was worried, what if I'm allergic to my cat? Get rid oh, of it. Oh no. Well, I, well, it seems that easy, but- Well, it is that easy. Throw it out the there. window. <laughs> <laughs> That's how, that's how I saw it like that. I'm not, I'm not a trained doctor, but that's how I saw that one like. I just like to apologise for any, uh, But they always land on their feet, don't they, Cam? <laughs> so that would be they fine. Do, and yeah. it's got oh, nine lives, so yeah. if it lands on a oh, spike, you'll be fine. <laughs> oh, don't, don't. Yeah. What happened to me? Oh. Yeah, because yeah, you can't laugh, because you could, because of the fight and the ribs. Oh, yeah, yeah, you took ribs, quite yeah. A, 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 I have to say, though, that, uh, oh. I remember we, we were talking on the radio about what Ricky should come out to for the big match. For those that don't realise, uh, Ricky at Christmas says a, a TV show on, Ricky, uh, <laughs> I don't know why, even to this day, why you agreed to do it. Nor do I. But, uh, you, he's doing a celebrity boxing match. Uh, fighting, and he was described at the beginning of the fight, Rick, I don't realise if you, if you, I don't know if you know this, he was described as entrepreneur, <laughs> Grant <laughs> Bovey. Well, uh, I don't, husband I don't know. Husband of I don't know what that means exactly. Well, he does bits of business, actually. Businessman. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Businessman, yeah. entrepreneur. Yeah. Um, but, well, uh, daily what was I described as? <laughs> yeah, you were described as, as, yeah. Uh, I think fat, funny man. Oh, right, he might right. be something like that, or right. a comedian and actor. But right. you came, yeah, Ricky came out to, uh, Mama Said Knock You Out by LL Cool J. Nice. Yeah. I think, I don't know whose suggestion it was, I think it might be mine, but it was, uh, blinding. And I noticed you were really, they almost, I mean, it was ludicrous, really. You came out in the shorts, you had the, uh, Well, I was acting up. I know, doing but you it, really but they were, were going, they were going, don't you laugh. Don't you laugh on my corner. And I, I really, I think I overdid it, didn't I? Well, you, he was kind of prowling around the ring, staring every, you know, <laughs> staring Bovey yeah. out and staring yeah. the crowd <laughs> out. It's so embarrassing. And kind of looking really, oh, yeah. You know, but, but of course he's got this ludicrous Chris Beer Belly. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So it looks I, like it looks I like Johnny Vegas all the is training right in the I was meant boxing. to do. Yeah, <laughs> oh, and Bovis yeah. looks quite a sort of athletic. Guy, he's really so he fit, looks like he? he could actually be a boxer. Um, but did you have? Did you have like the? I'm obviously they're filming it for telly. Did you have the production crew saying right, stop? Can, can you just do that? Throw that punch again? No, right? no, it was a real no, fight. They just, so they really just let them go. I, I think people lose prize. I think they're going to see it's a real fight. And I tell you, it's unpleasant. I mean, it's actually an unpleasant thing. Okay, well I'll tell you what. What Carl said because Carl was there, and he said to me, I can't do his accent. He went, Oh no, it won't want nice. No, it wasn't nice. No, it was, it was, I have to say, I was really kind of riled up by it. I mean, I've never been to a fight before, and I just was like, come on, I was like, smash his face! I was really shouting, I was just going crazy. Shouting for me, though, were No, I was shouting for you, and then I was, then I just decided to try and freak everyone, so I was shouting, kiss him, snog him, lick him, ask him, ask him out! I was shouting that in a vain attempt to throw someone, and, um, it was extraordinary. But I tell you, I think, cos I think you'd be better off, like, if they sort of brought back wrestling. Wrestling, wrestling from the 70s. Oh, like Big wrestling Daddy and would be like fun. Mick McManus. Yeah, yes. exactly. Oh, I think that, you've got more the physique for wrestling. I think I'm too young for wrestling on <laughs> yeah, British television. They were always about 65. <laughs> I think they? they're 58, one of them, yeah. Les Keller. Yeah, yeah, but the outfits are fun. Oh, they get, yeah, yeah. Oh, a bit yeah. too tight, weren't they? Yeah, and it was outfits. always that kind of shiny, whatever preceded lycra. I know, with a, just a little winkle <laughs> showing. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> little fat, winkle. Little, little, with a little winkle in their tight shorts. Why were you looking? Oh, I've done you. Play record. <laughs> I've done you. I'm not. I'm well, not. answers, please. I'm, I'm not. I'm not one of them. You're not looking at my now. Are you? Yes. Those are the red hot chili peppers and they're still going strong. Mmm. <laughs> oh, indeed, yes. That's one of my favourite tunes of the year. You, you enjoyed like that? that? I've, yes, absolutely, yeah, These are all yeah. mutual, we, we, we love them all, we're not, we're not absolutely, really, yeah, no, we're, we're not, not annoying each other by putting in not songs the other one doesn't like. Not we're like all. a team today, isn't it? I think that's the Christmas spirit, I don't know what it is. We've come together, we've sort of unified, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, in the absence of Carl. Yeah. Who often divides us, he often comes between us. Does he? Like, yeah, well I'll tell you what it's yeah. like, it's like, um, it's like a child. Like, it's like we're a married couple and he's sort of our autistic child oh, or something, right, you know, and sometimes yeah. it just puts a strain on the marriage. You know, <laughs> we, you know, we, we, all three of us love each other. You but, because yeah, he does love you guys. Yeah, exactly, but yeah, sometimes I, it's I hard, I hear him you know. talking about you in the office sometimes, know. you know. He looks up to you, aspires to you too. Yeah. But it's, it's hard like because yeah. of, well, because of, um, to be honest, the baby Jesus, that we, um, <laughs> We realise that there's beauty in everyone and it's all, it's all right. Yeah. And, yeah exactly. He's yeah. never had that before. No. Well, yeah. I, um, I have to say that I'm really getting into the Christmas spirit. I did, when I was younger I didn't really enjoy it. I was quite cynical. I was quite, You're you know, joking. rock and roll. But, uh, but now I'm sort of, yeah, I walk in a department store and if there's one of the old, you know, chestnuts are roasting on an open fire, which are that classic tune, or oh, any I of those, you know. Oh, I thought you were those old boys that stand outside <laughs> the British <laughs> right, Museum. Right, yeah. Uh, no, 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 right, you mean um, the tune, yeah. You know, that one or, uh, is it, how does it go? Chestnuts roasting on an open fire? <laughs> chestnuts roasting. Yeah. Jack Frost, Ned the thing is you know. Oh. But I can't get enough of them. I, I love it. I'm in a department store, you know, it's frosty outside, you know, it's warm in there. Have you ever roasted your chestnuts on an open fire? I have never done that. No, Imagine I have not that. done that. 
I have just, not done that. Just backing up to it, like that, with your little chestnuts <laughs> hanging out like a bulldog. What would you be wearing? You'd probably be just- I imagine you, you'd have your dressing gown on, you'd just hoik it up just like pull it so your arse was showing. Pop em, pop em down, like, tuck it in like a lovely lady. Yeah. So it like a lovely lady from the front, but behind, yeah. it looks like a, you know, a real- a, a bulldog dragging <laughs> a tree. <laughs> yeah, And exactly. uh, and you just pop that- you pop them in the grate. Yeah, yeah. And, and you, you would- cause you wanna be careful of too much roasting, so I imagine <laughs> you'd wanna just kind of- Like, ease yourself them. in slowly. Like, you toast them. And if it feels too hot, get out of there, get the hell out of there. Yeah. You know, that's- if any kids are listening, try that. <laughs> no! What? No! <laughs> like there's a kid thinking, yeah, I'm gonna roast my chestnuts on an open fire. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's no, even a child that's I doing that. I don't want that. someone to do it and then the parents go and Steve Merchants, uh, told our children to do yeah. it. We're probably okay. getting- oh, we're probably in trouble so now because kid, that. Where's kids the kid gonna don't. find an open fire like those- I mean, it has to be the sort that they- <laughs> right, they use those kind of barrels. <laughs> it can't just be open fire at home, that doesn't count. That's just stupid. <laughs> if you're gonna oh, do it properly. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, oh we're having such a nice time there. We've lowered the tone. I'll tell you what, uh, what'll perk us all up though. Richard Anderson has emailed us. Oh, Dickie Anderson. He, he's, he's loving the show, is he? Well, I don't know if you've uh, heard this, Carl. Uh, Carl? I've called you Carl. <laughs> That's okay. Um, That's okay. I'm Claire, pleased to meet you. It's a, it was is, it, is it the shaved head it or the, the stupidity? Yeah. It's the <laughs> 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 it was the c sound. Cause didn't yeah. I call you Arthur or Jack or something last time? You called me, um... I can't remember. I don't know, but it was quite but, um, embarrassing. Claire, I'll be honest with you, Claire's quite an unmemorable name. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know. Um, but yeah, Dickie Anderson, he's a guy, he's, I'll be honest with you, he's not a big fan of the show. But Is he's- he uh, Well, we're getting to winning round. He says, uh, dear Ricky, the more disappointing your show becomes, the more I seem to look forward to it. <laughs> now I see your face plastered across London. Is your show some sort of curse put on me by an old gypsy woman I've annoyed? <laughs> You know, a good point, Dicky. But um, because <laughs> uh, but but Randers, as I call it, <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he's, he, I hey, can't listen now. I know what he's doing. Yeah, he's yeah. tucked him in. He's backing into the fire as we speak, and he <laughs> wants to, he wants to roast them until they spit. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! Oh. Thanks for thanks for listening. Thanks Anders. for, thanks it's, for it, Anders. And Merry Christmas to you and Happy New Year! Uh, and as you know, you got a lot to look forward to because our first hour is always the best. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to be loving it till three, cockers. <laughs> oh dear! What, cockers. What, what, should, what should we play? Well, this is I, I every so often I get sent um, a CD by uh, a friend of mine, Harry, who uh, just sorts me out with tunes that I may have missed. That's a good idea. By it is a great idea, fantastic. and um, <laughs> this is one that I think it came out this year. It's a teenage fan club, and they teamed up with Jad Fair, and I think it's a mixed bag, the album apparently. But this is one of the good tunes on it. New to you. Um, I'm afraid your CD isn't working. Oh, no, it is there. No, no, no. Oh, it's not me, Steve. Honestly, it keeps Claire, it stopping. Looks like it's you. No, honestly. You're pressing buttons, you're fiddling with buttons. No, right. no, look, it comes back again, look. Right, you can't play that. I didn't no, I touch just, it. I just, I, no. this never happens when Carl's here. It does. <laughs> it does, you're right, yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'll swap it into another CD machine and can we play Oasis? Oh, it's one of, another one of my favourites. The Oasis back on form. Yeah, I, no, Rick, I, don't, I don't, I'm not discrediting the tune, I just feel like. Oh, I'm Steve's not. Right. No, we've, no we've, we've, it was uh, a good hour, it was a good hour of radio and it's just been cheap. Actually, you're right, debased. it's just gone two o'clock and already. It's yeah, starting to fall apart. Well, this is this uh, doesn't bode well for the comedy awards. This is, is this is a good anthem. This is a good Britpop anthem. Uh, yeah. Older, old Noel back on form with the old singer songwriting. This is a, this is little by little an oasis. Yeah. He's yeah. a giant. He's like a giant, Nick. Yeah. And he's a giant, and he gets starts off little and gets bigger. Little so, by little, he gets little bigger. Little by little, but it's bigger by bigger. I'd have called it. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, that's what makes you. So, uh, a genius. Yeah, um, Oasis, little by little. Little by little, uh, do well, you want we, to explain who you are? Well, we played some great tunes. I'm Ricky Gervais. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm Steve Merchant, and yeah, that's close to yeah, just under yeah, the carpet. Yeah, it's XFM 104.9. Yeah. And, uh, playing the great tunes. Was it on Sky? Oh, s channel eight six four. Uh, Ricky, people are saying they can't see on the webcam. You just stick a leg up or something, just so they. That, yeah, yeah is that's it, his foot. Uh, yeah, was it just on you? Is it? Oh, because most. But they can't see me because I'm in camouflage, oh, yeah, so it's, just, it's just not a very interesting picture. I can't and, wave. There you go. Yeah. Um, does anyone log on online? I don't know who. Wh how does the webcam look? I don't. I've not so ever seen on a webcam. Is it just kind of? Because normally aren't they kind of really sort of um, oh, well, sure, jarring? And, and and does it take pictures like a digital camera? It's every fifteen it seconds it updates. Oh right, okay. You get still pictures. Hey, so still, is it right? I see. Okay. Right. Oh, it's still pictures, is it? I didn't yeah. realise that. Yeah, every fifteen oh, seconds. Right. Yeah. 
So they can't actually see, you know, like if I was to bust some amazing dance moves. No, they, they just, would just see. Well, if you did it, if you did it every fifteen seconds, like you move, they could then print them off and do like <laughs> a flicker book. <laughs> that yeah, would they, work. Yeah. So they could see. <laughs> they, amazing. They could see doing windmills and you know, <laughs> really king tuts. Yeah, all that, all yeah. that, all yeah. that. Yeah, scissor kick. Um, um, I'm running out of steam now, Steve. A bit tired. Are you? So I've got fifty minutes to do. So we better think of something to say. Well, I, I, was, I genuinely was going to ask you because uh, obviously Christmas is approaching, and I've not even started to think about Christmas gifts. I don't know how you're getting on, Claire. I never do. But because Claire, you're aware of what Ricky bought his family last year, aren't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you know, I am because he told me and I've completely yeah. forgotten. It's extraordinary. It is extraordinary. Um, I mean, uh, how much thought do you how much thought and planning went into it? Right, right, I was pressing Because how many, well, how many parents, how many uh, kids were there? How many right, people right, were there? This is, this is it. This is it. I've got a big family, okay? Um, well, not big, but I mean, they've got lots of kids, so I'm sort of youngest in my siblings, yeah. and so they're, you know, they've got kids ranging from like 30 to to babies, and uh, there's about fifteen of them. All my and you buy uh, them all? Yes. Yeah, I go try and get them. Oh, try and get them all. Nice. So what is, is it? Wait. <laughs> 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 so uh, I got a lift down. And I thought, oh, what can I get? I thought, oh, I can't just give him the money. I can't, I'll oh, stop you there straight away, if I may. What? You notice he's on the way down <laughs> for Christmas Day. Oh, right, so he's on the- oh, right! He's on the way down. This is no, when he starts- this is when he starts- oh, Boxing yeah. Day. So this is when he starts to think about buying him a gift. Yeah. On you go. So, uh, I was getting a lift, and, uh, I might have given a lift down, um, so, uh, just before we got there, I just ran across the road to the, uh, the 7-Eleven. Got 200 quid worth of scratch cards. Scratch cards? Scratch cards. Bear in mind, I think you were describing the family then. I noticed, uh, some of them you described as babies. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. So, <laughs> children. <laughs> yeah! They're giving the it. children the gambling, the gambling cards. But that's lovely, they I give them ten each, so they could have won thousands of pounds. A lot of them were disappointed when they won nothing, but I said, kids, that's the gamble! <laughs> <laughs> that's the risk you take when you receive a gift from me. <laughs> But the great thing about getting, uh, the great thing about getting- <laughs> Some of them won! Some of them win. <laughs> some were laughing. But the great thing oh. about getting kids hooked on gambling <laughs> as a Christmas gift is it's the gift that keeps on giving. Yes, <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, throughout your adult life. It gives yeah. and it takes. Exactly. So yeah. I don't hand them to them, I hand them to the parents. Right. They, they, what they, they chose to do them They could distribute them as they wanted. Sure. Sure. Um, so what and, are you going to uh, do this year, Ricky? But what, how are you going to top that? Yeah. 300 quid for the scratch cards. Got a bit of money now, a bit more. It's the most thoughtful. <laughs> oh, and no. the office Pikey on DVD. Gift I've yeah. ever I of. think they might be getting the office on DVD. <laughs> Signed. Signed. <laughs> so that's, uh, already sent it up in value. Oh dear. I <laughs> know, oh, that's pretty bad. So have you seriously considered it this year? Is it, is no, I'm gonna go shopping. I'm gonna go shopping properly. <laughs> yeah. If you want any help, I am the <laughs> queen of shopping. Didn't you take a shopping. small roulette wheel down there, wouldn't you? Genuinely, didn't you buy like a roulette wheel? No, I had it. I, I, that's down there from when I got it when I was about ten. Oh right. And sometimes right. I'm, I'm the banker. I always win. Yeah, of course. So they've like... got to learn a lesson. The banker <laughs> always wins. I bet it's a valuable lesson when they when they lose money to me. I like. They... You should just go down this year and just say, basically, I went to a casino. <laughs> I put a uh, ten pound chip on for everyone. Exactly, yeah. Here's the winning. You lost. <laughs> you lost. You lost. You won. <laughs> Yours came in. Yours was a donkey love. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Steve, what about you then? Because I mean, you don't like. Shopping, well, do it's you? not that I don't like shopping. It's that I don't. I've got no ideas. You know, I'm running on empty with my parents. They don't appear, as far as I can make out, they don't appear to have any hobbies. No, they and like I said to you, food. I said before, my grandparents. You don't like wasting money. I'm not being funny, but you don't like wasting money either, do you? Well, I don't like wasting money. No, um, but I like I like to buy something practical for people. I like something that which is going to last, something that's value for money. I don't like novelty gifts. Yeah. No, I, mean, I, I said, think novelty gifts are wrong. I've mentioned to to you that my grandparents spend all their time in bed. So there's only so many kind of, you know, sort of bed socks you can buy, you know, and, and ointment for, you know, bed blisters and so on before, you know, Could you run you out of ideas. What about some of those novelty teeth? <laughs> cause that, I mean, cause that would be, you know, a nice jokey present yeah. and they could probably come in useful for chewing the broccoli. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Oh, do you know what would be nice? One of those... No, I'll tell you when. No, Go on. <laughs> they sort of travel pillows. So you know when yeah. you're travelling and and but your head sort of falls anywhere. down. Like, no, no, but, but they uh, travel from vertical no. to almost <laughs> 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 horizontal. They're, they're sitting up in their bed. Get one, on of, one of them pillows. beds that come up. You're not made of money. What am I talking about? about? <laughs> like Laura I mean. Heard's bed. Thora Heard's bed. She's. She, uh, does her feet ever touch the ground now? <laughs> Do you know what I mean, though? No, I, it's literally. She's she, go, she goes shopping in one of those little trolleys. She goes straight into her. She's up the stair lift. She gets lowered into the bath. Yeah. It's ludicrous. I just lazy. 
I mean, I tell you that, but I mean, oh, well, there's a whole like. But yeah, but that, if you're earning the kind of money that you know that Heard is on, wow. you know, with her with her songs with of her praise and whatever else. Exactly. Money she was at right. the Comedy Awards last year, wasn't she? Well, she, I'll give her an award. She's up the stairs like a <laughs> greyhound. She can move then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but so I've got no ideas, absolutely right. no ideas. Okay. Um, but so any suggestions are welcome, Claire. What are you gonna get your family? You've already well, thought Well, I know, I've, I've, well, I obviously listening? can't tell you because they will be listening. Right. <coughs> um, but they're all outside at the moment because my family are coming to meet me after the show and we're gonna swap presents then because, uh. Okay. Outside. Are there any office in Leicester DVDs? Square? In, uh, no, office I haven't. Books? Um, no. Because I should, I should point out that the office DVD is currently available. <laughs> yeah, good, uh, I actually did go and buy, I actually went and bought it myself. You also buy it and online. I am enjoying the scripts, by the way. Excellent. That's in, I love the fact that I we're love? authors in the top ten. Yeah, we're in the top ten bestseller no, list. No, 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 but to be fair, we're in the, we're in, uh, we're at number seven in the paperback non-fiction. Now, I don't understand how that can be non-fiction. Yeah. Because it's the transcript from a made up Yeah, it's not a real show. documentary. <laughs> exactly, yeah. yeah. But we, we, we're, we're, be we're beating these poor people. But, but we're officially best selling authors. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's fantastic. Which is excellent. Which is my very favourite good. bits, <laughs> my favourite bits are the emails at the start. They are, they are like Well, I mean, them. a lot of people don't yeah. know what you're talking about, Claire, but of course if they pop down to Waterstones <laughs> or uh, Boxy Pickle, they can, uh, they can sort themselves out. Yeah, oh, oh, nice. I like your style. <laughs> can we have some more music now? Let's yeah. have, uh, what yeah. we know, it's the Streets, streets. maybe? I mean, the Streets oh, is obviously one of the albums of the year. Best album of the year. This is a week becoming heroes. I think the last single in Dynamite is two. Oh, oh. oh. Eric Sermon, and what's the tune called there? It's called React. React. Yeah, he's React. got from his, yeah. uh, debut, no, not his, his fourth solo album. Not actually. bad, not yeah, bad, not bad. Good. I'm enjoying the tunes, Steve. No, absolutely. I'm enjoying the chat, I'm enjoying the tunes, I'm enjoying, enjoying, keeping it real. I'm enjoying the penultimate show before Christmas. Last, uh, message from Anders, I suspect, oh, Anders. for the day. Uh, he says, I've just roasted my chestnuts over an open fire. It's a lot more enjoyable than listening to your show. He's, he, he's pretty it. snappy, he's Anders. Yeah, you know, he keeps yeah. them coming, you know. It's a shame that, um, you know, that we sort of couldn't sort of maybe meet up with him and try and persuade him that, you know, he should come over to our side rather than, you know. Come over to the side. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, come side, over to the know. side. I, I think we've got him though, because I mean, so? yeah, apparently they did this survey in, uh, in, uh, America. People who loved Howard Stern listened to an average of like an hour and a half a week, and people who hated him listened two and a half hours a week. Yeah, exactly. So I think he's probably m more faithful a listener <laughs> yes. than some of the people that quite like us. <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? He's got to listen, it's a, I, I'm the same with some people, I've got to listen to things that I just think are awful, I, I can't. Mm. It, you mm. know, it's compulsive viewing. Mm. So, uh, mm. you know, I don't care if people listen to us because they hate us or like no, us. No, indeed, Steve. as long as they're listening. I was listening. actually, I was on the as tube. As long as they're spending money on the, the advertisers. Other day, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was on the tube the other day and obviously there's lots of pictures of you guys and yeah. uh, there was a young couple and uh, the guy was trying to explain to the girl what, what you did and he said, no, you, sh you should check them out. They, they do quite well, actually. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's very sweet. <laughs> was, why was he well. explaining to her? She just didn't, she didn't know what was know. happening I or? I, I don't know. I, I sort of, as I walked by them. Are um, you leaving out the fact that she went, oh, I hate that bloke? No, no, not at all. No, no, because I would say that because that would be quite a He had some family. Germans laughing at him on the tube because yes. he recognised him. I, uh, you don't <laughs> think of that. Well, because I I, obviously Ricky doesn't travel on the tube anymore. He's too rich for that. I never did. I but, always thought it was beneath me. Sure, but uh, they I used to, to walk everywhere. Didn't yeah, you? but I'm still forced to. Uh, I'm still forced to take the tube, and uh, I sat on the tube, and uh, it pulled up, and outside the window, <laughs> just happened to be on the station, was one of the posters with us. So I was kind of there, not realising it was behind me, and oh. these, these big kind of fat German or maybe Bavarian guys. Uh, well, they're in Lederhosen and eating sausages. Yes, they were. They're Bavarian. <laughs> yeah, they were. And uh, and I noticed one of them kind of looked at me, then looked at the poster, then looked. Looked at me, just just happened to see it, and whittered something to his friend in German. You know, I don't want to try and do an impression. I think I snatched him. I snatched him. That's freaking goggle eye. Oh, I think that. No, 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 no. <laughs> but you, I know what you're thinking. It means it doesn't mean that. Right. Okay. It, it means what's a rough translation? Uh, elegant boy. Right. Okay. Yeah. And so anyway, That's he pointed goggle eye. He pointed out the poster, and uh, and his That's mate lanky piss and streak. <laughs> 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 and his <laughs> mate burst into laughter. <laughs> and uh, and then we put. Well, they've got a great sense of humour. The well, that's the thing. <laughs> but we oh, rumbled yeah. on to the next. Uh, we rumbled on to the next station, and the poster was in exactly the same place. And this time, they tapped the shoulder of uh, someone else on the train and pointed me out. And that person also an laughed. Italian. Uh, it was. Yeah, yeah, there was a French. Was there a bloke with a bear and a little moustache <laughs> exactly, on the other yeah. side? Yeah. Was yeah. it United? You did, did you get on the United Nations Express? <laughs> <laughs> Just to. Oh, I imagine that. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was. Seen a freak. Uh, 
<laughs> Look at his freaky goggle eye. <laughs> right, whereas I love, <laughs> I love the fact that before you were at least pretending to be speaking German. Now this is an Italian <laughs> with an accent. It's just the guy <laughs> speaking perfectly good English. So you've not even disguised the insult there. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, oh that'd be well, lovely. Try to insult me in other cod you languages. You could bring Europe together if they just uh, like, instead of Esperanto, mm. that, that there was just one common language. The language I'll, tell you what would bring, I'll tell you what would bring the Europe together is you <laughs> maybe representing. England on the Eurovision Song Contest. Oh. That would be great. With a self pen tune. Shall I do that? That would be magnificent. It's nice. got to be worth thinking about. about. Just about everyone being the same. Yeah, and just like about people Euro being and equal. That, everyone, not everyone. <laughs> and, and, but, and also mentioning the Euro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just doing that. Oh, I like all different. Uh, I like all different cheeses. Oh, the, yeah. I lo uh, je t'aime la musique pop. Yeah. La baby belle. Uh, et uh, la cheddar. I, I mean, I'm not fluent I am French. Le grand fromage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll be lovely, won't it? And they'll all be there, all in their different. Well, every uniforms. line could be maybe in a different language. Yeah, and I, what would I wear? I'd wear sort of like a kilt. <laughs> you'd wear a kilt, um, but you'd also have on your head one of those, um, those uh, kind of big, wh what are they called? Those big furry hats that uh, beef eaters or whatever wear. Or yeah, they, uh, one of them. Is it yeah. called of a busby or a something? Busby. A busby. Yeah. Wear one of those, um, <laughs> and uh, or maybe a kind of policeman's helmet, That'd a Bobby's good. helmet with the kilt. Yeah. You'd have the I'd, clogs. I'd, I'd wear the policeman's helmet under the kilt, so they just thought I was really enjoying the <laughs> yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good idea. Hey. Excellent. We oh. talked- well, I think we talked for about three minutes without uh, having to mention some kind of genitalia. We should celebrate yeah. by playing one of yeah. my tunes of the year. Really? What one is it? You too, Electrical Storm. Oh, I know oh, you're a big yeah. fan. I know no, you're good a big choice. fan. Well done. Cheers. <laughs> Electrical Storm. You too. I think that's my favourite of the year, mm -hmm. if I had to pick one. That's great. Mm. Uh, and I do still feel slightly guilty about dissing them throughout the 90s. But, you know. Don't feel guilty if you didn't like no, them. Yeah, you I like the 80s stuff. Done. I didn't like the 90s stuff. I'm loving what they're doing in I the 90s. I think noughties. you're a bigger man than them, frankly, for being able to admit your past mistakes. <laughs> yeah. I think you're better than Bono, <laughs> despite all his charity work. <laughs> yeah. You're more of a noble yeah, figure. Yeah, stop bothering the Pope, he's busy. <laughs> exactly. Well, yeah. Um, Rick, uh, my mother always used to say to me that you should write and thank your aunties and so on for their gifts. Yeah. And, uh, I feel like we should take a, a moment out just to thank all the people that have emailed or written into us during the year because we don't. Basically, we're very lazy men and we never reply. Well, really. I don't never look. You never so look you, at the emails. You read them and I'll go anything for me and you go I reply very down. occasionally if You're I think like it's worth it. You're like my secretary when it comes to you protect mm. me from, like, people who- The insults and so yeah, on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are there yeah. any insults, are there? Oh, there's plenty. There's plenty, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Do you have uh, to protect him, really? Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah there's lots of things shame, I don't tell him. Lots of things I keep from him. It's not very nice. I thought- I was- well, he's just not as popular as he thinks he is. Oh. He thinks that when he's like dancing around and making funny faces and squawking <laughs> and making noises and no, stuff when we're filming, it. he thinks he that everyone thinks that's enjoyable. Yeah. Some, Some of what people think I'm quite an annoying little prat, do they? That's not the word they use, but you're near enough really? there. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they didn't say prat, but uh, you're on the right lines. Okay. Um, but yeah. so for instance, uh, we had a li an email here from Graham. He says, please stop the chat and let's hear some more great ads, as I'm still not sure what mobile phone I should get the wife for Christmas. Well, Maybe this will help you out. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just having fun with oh, the webcam. Sorry. I, sorry. Oh, I didn't, <laughs> yeah. We're just playing with the webcam. The webcam's an absolute that, treat. That is a really? lovely picture. It's a little picture there of Steve on That's it. That's lovely. Oh. Right, yeah. um, that, that keep the ladies feeder. happy. That was Feeder. If I know them. Great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's one of my favourite <laughs> tracks of the year as well. Feeder, you've enjoyed that. Which is what we're doing. Mm. God, mm. it's gone quickly. It's only a quarter of an hour ago. Yes, indeed, yes. Uh, Carl will be back next week for our kind of Christmas, uh, bonanza. I say that, we've got nothing planned. <laughs> <laughs> There's no, no reason why it should nice. be a bonanza. <laughs> no. Nice, yeah. oh, but so dear. we'll play some Christmas tunes and, uh, no doubt Carl will have some kind of festive, uh, game for us maybe, or a, uh, a festive, uh, some well, festive trivia. Well, a couple of new games. I mean, he's, he's, he's struggling with Rockbusters, which we've missed this week. Mm. Uh, educating Ricky, he thinks there's nothing out there. All he could find was a parrot and a dog in a car wash. Yeah, you can't find um, any more interesting still stuff. Still a little bit upset that we told him about intelligent crabs and, uh, um, babies forcing their way out. Yeah, we, uh, we stitched him up last week by telling him some, uh, some, uh, f what we claimed were facts. Oh, right, cause I was out shopping, so I missed it. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. well, then. you know, you well, can well, always you know, get a believes anything something. that's weird yeah. and wonderful, and we just yeah. made up this story. So I made up, I said the two bodybuilders, um, uh, got married, and, uh, she had a baby, but it, it, <laughs> after six, six months or seven months, she was in bed asleep, and she woke up in terrible agony where the baby, where it had born, the bodybuilder, had forced its way out of the vagina and was <laughs> pulling her along by the umbilical cord. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and intelligent crabs and stuff like this, and he was yeah. genuinely disappointed. Yeah, that they weren't so, true. Uh, but he came up with a new idea, um, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is tell him three things. Yeah. One of which is 
made up and ludicrous and two incredible facts and it's called, uh, That's Ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. So he has to go, number three is Ridiculous. It's a winner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Carl always comes up with the title first. Mm. You don't have right. to work the game show out from the title. Have you started work on uh, That's Ridiculous yet? No, I've, I've, I've <laughs> thought of a couple of things. It is great. It's so much fun to say, isn't it? Ridiculous. Yeah, that's a wah wah the Ridiculous. You're correct. <laughs> Basically, it's like Call My Bluff, isn't it, really? It's not unlike Call My Bluff. It's not yeah. unlike Bluff. It's not unlike Bluff. <laughs> Certainly, yeah. yeah you've, uh, so, uh, um, yeah, we've had Oasis Streets, we've had YouTube, we've had some cracking tunes. Can we get away with playing Nelly? Hot in here? Yeah. I think it's a cracking tune. I really do. I, do. I just think again, you know, I'm not interested in what genre you think it fits into or whether you think it's cool or because kids like it, you're not supposed to like it. Let's, let's it's a good tune well, and I think we should try and, I'll, I'll we should try and stick it in. But before that, Rick, can I just Go play on. one track? We did play Go it much on. earlier in the what? year. What? It's from that album, uh, Son of Evil Reindeer by uh, a band called The Reindeer Section. And uh, this uh, is a cracking little tune. Yeah. I just think it's beautiful and um, uh, nice yeah. to hear it. Oh, beautiful, marry it then. Oh, nice, isn't it? Yeah. Very Christmassy. It's it makes beautiful. me want uh, to wish everyone a happy Christmas. Indeed. You know <laughs> well, I mean? yeah, do it. No. No, okay. <laughs> uh, that's called <laughs> Grand Parade from the album Son of Evil Reindeer by the Reindeer Section. It's a nice tune. It's one of my favourites of the, the year. Tea, by the way, Not Steve. at all. It's no, it's, nice. that's, that's my pleasure. Mm. It's my pleasure. Um, Claire, mm. just big highlights of the year for you as a final round up. What sort of things have you enjoyed you. this year? Um, I mean, musically maybe, or maybe stuff you've, uh, you know. Um, I've enjoyed that band, The Music. Okay. Um, and the rapture. Sure. And uh, the electric six. Remember last time I sat in for Carl, we played uh, Danger, Danger, High Voltage. Yeah. The, like one of the first. That times was the first time I'd heard it. And, you played and now that, yeah. we're playing it every really? hour. Because yeah, um, you're can't, you're, you're sort of a pioneer, aren't you, musically on XFM? You're well, one of the people I, who I keeps it pretty the, raw. The early days of Idle edge. Wild. Ricky, do you remember the early days of I, Idle Wild? I, I, I take All that back as well. Ago. Teasing you about them playing. The Pinder and Wakefield stuff. That that latest single I love, and yeah. the video's great as well. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm a I big knew, fan of Idle World now. You, you, no, it great. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's been a good year. I haven't been out to many gigs, obviously, because sure. I do the evening show. Yeah. But you know, yeah. all the sessions with, with, which I'm doing the best of next week. Quick plug. For uh -huh. the show next week, yeah. best of the sessions. So it's low been good points, year. low points. What are those? Low points. <sighs> Do you know what mine are? What poverty and war and everything. Oh, yeah, I always well, hate it. I yeah, always that. hate it. No, you know, yeah, you didn't say yeah, that. Yeah. No, you you were going to say. I, I was going to say. No, you were um, going to say the streets or something, and I yeah. and you didn't care about <laughs> yeah. all the people dying. So don't yeah. try and do I'm it now. I'm thinking specifically. You're nasty. You like that? You like poverty? <laughs> oh, you like poverty and salvation? Fair record, Claire. That's Claire. interesting. You yourself? That's interesting. <laughs> what a Near horrible. Christmas time. What a horrible. You, you hope oh, kids go just, lame? You're you're evil. God, you're that's terrible. Evil. That's terrible thing, <laughs> Claire. Nelly, hot Cheeky little bit of Nelly there oh, on XFM 104.9. We don't uh, care. Spring scene in Nelly. You it's don't get that tune. on XFM, do you, do no. usually? No, indeed. We don't live by the rules, do <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I was li as I was listening to you then talk- You got bored? It, no, 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 it reminded me of an email that someone sent in saying that they listen online, yeah. but um, because of however slow their computer is or whatever, um, they- it kind of stutters all the way through. <laughs> You've um, got to point out that is the way I No, talk. but they said that it only happens when you talk. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I think they've correctly identified that it's not the computer at fault. Well, that's why you I was worried about like doing this boxing match, because I've definitely lost my looks, and I already slur. Yes. So there was really no danger of any damage. No, exactly. Yeah, you do sound punch drunk con <laughs> constantly. <laughs> exactly, yeah. that's just part of your charm. Well, listen, that's been a, a lovely two hours for mm. me. I've enjoyed it. Yeah. I hope the listeners have enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope Sturgis has enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it, yeah. Uh, well, I didn't really care <laughs> if you enjoyed <laughs> it. Don't, don't bite him when I'm talking to Steve. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, you are here to press the buttons, do <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, but, um, we're gonna play now a Christmas song for the lovely Christmas ladies. I don't say it's so much Christmassy, but it's one of the tunes I heard well, this year that really, uh, stuck out for me. Things, so. Well, you were a fool, you've embarrassed yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you've just, you just showed up that there's no planning. <laughs> um, yeah. this is, uh, I was giving away on a, a free CD on the cover of a magazine, I just think it's brilliant. It's a Lamb Chop, who are an excellent band always, doing a cover of an ob obscure Rolling Stones tune And I'll say what, a bloody Girls. good meal as well. <laughs> <laughs> True <laughs> enough. Um, so we'll leave them with this, it's Backstreet Girl Lamb Chop, and uh, see you next week for uh, our final Lamb festive Chop. show. <laughs> yeah, thanks very much. <laughs> embarrassing, it's something <laughs> embarrassing, thank you. I don't want you.